Hi, I'm Christina Whitney, a Handy Quilter Studio Educator. Let me tell you about our Ruler of the Month Club 8, Boundless Borders. Let's talk about some ruler safety. One of the most important things that you need to have are your ruler base. It's the little table top that goes underneath the fabric that's going to extend that table out. You also want to make sure you have a sure foot. This sure foot has the higher profile to prevent the rulers from hopping over and causing damage. So those two things you definitely want to have. The third thing is handy grip. It is just a little sticky sandpaper that you put on the back of your rulers that helps to hold the ruler in place so it's not shifting as you're quilting. So those are the three things that you will want to have with working with rulers. got our swish template here. This one is super cool. Let's take a look at what we can do with this one. Here we go. Look at this. How fun is that? Let me just reiterate that the template itself doesn't make the feathers or the straight lines. Actually, the straight lines I did do with the ruler. But it makes this spine here that we can use as our base. So I am going to just hold this up here. And you can see I just stitched from one point all the way to the other point, stopped with my needle in the down position, and then I shifted the ruler over, making sure to keep it lined up using my grid lines, stitch down and over, and you can just continue shifting as you go along, and then go back and do some fills. I use a straight edge side ruler to make some piano keys to fill that in. So lots of fun things. Let's look at this next design here. This one is similar, but if you look closely, I stitched out this first section, and I have lines that were marked to show where the point was. And then I shifted. Oh, wait, no, that doesn't work. Watch what you can do here. I'm going to take the ruler. Instead of shifting, I'm going to flip it upside down. Okay? So I'm going to put that right in there, and then I can stitch this part. Again, flip the ruler over and continue on. So that gives it a completely different look. It almost looks like a, a mustache right here. So that's a fun one. Okay, so as I mentioned, I had some lines drawn down these center points. And so I did this exact same thing just upside down. Okay, so I'm going to start here, stitching here, flipping it over. Coming around, flipping it over. And what a fun design that gives you. And then I had this open area here that I didn't really want to leave open. So I just free motioned a cute little design in there. And that just adds to the effect of it. OK, let's look right here. This is that same thing. I'm going to stitch along, shifting over. And I did that all the way down one time. And I've got a line drawn. You might be able to see this line. It's the center of my border. And that is what I used to line this up. So I've got a grid line here that goes right through that start point and that end point. So I line that up with my mark that I made on the quilt. And then I just shifted it over to make this kind of ribbon look. So really fun to play with. OK, let's do some stitching with this one. Forgot my clamps. Can't stitch without my clamps. Okay, I have a very, very faint center line marked already on here. So I'm just putting my needle in there, bringing up my bobbin, doing my tie off. So using these grid lines going across, I'm going to bump the ruler up against my foot and then line it up with this really, really faint line right there. Okay. This ruler can be a little bit more awkward to hold, 
So play with your hand placement, and remember if you do need to shift your hand, just pause or stop with the needle in the down position, and then reposition your hand. Okay, so we're going to stitch, hugging onto that ruler, keeping it against the ruler, coming down, making sure you have control. Ruler work isn't a speed game. Take your time with it. Be safe. Lining up with my existing mark there with my grid line. And I'm going to continue on. Okay, one of the things that I see the most with people using rulers that have curves is that they tend to go off into la la land. So if you are coming along here, if you're not hugging up against that ruler, you're going to shift over. Can you see how I just kind of went off into la la land? So I'm going to just bring it back. So here, really hug that ruler as you come around. Okay. Okay. That's our Swift template. See what kinds of designs you can come up with. Have fun.